Are you looking to design an eye-catching and high-quality poster but don't know where to start? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to make a professional poster using Canva step-by-step. -step. Whether it's for an event, business, school project, or social media, Canva makes designing super easy. Canva is one of the best tools for creating posters because it's beginner-friendly and packed with features that make your designs look professional in minutes. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to make a poster in Canva starting from a completely blank design. We'll guide you through each step so you'll learn how to create a poster that's all your own, using your own ideas and creativity. But that's not all. We'll also show you how to use Canva's ready-made templates, which can help you create professional-looking posters in just a few clicks. Whether you're a beginner or have some experience with design, this tutorial will help you make amazing posters in five minutes. So the first step in this step-by-step -step process is to open your preferred web browser and then navigate over to canva.com. In order to start designing a poster, we'll have to create a Canva account, or you can easily sign up with your Google account and then log into Canva. I suppose that you already have a Canva account and that you are logged in, so let's make our poster. And I'm first gonna make a poster from a blank design. Let's say I need a poster about job hiring, but you can do this for literally anything, like a sports poster, a party poster, a school event, and many more things. I'm gonna type hiring in here, and then I'm gonna get a lot of templates. And I'll show you how you can use these templates in the second part of the video, but I'll open one of these templates in another tab so that I can get some inspiration and some ideas while I design my poster from scratch. Go over to the Canva homepage and then tap on this custom size option. That's gonna open this window where we can select our design size. And since we're making a poster in this video, type that in the search bar and then select the dimensions of your poster. It can be a horizontal poster, a vertical one, and you'll see the size in inches or centimeters. And I'll select a random poster size. I'm then gonna get this blank canvas where I can start creating the poster. Canva offers a ton of things which we can add. And if I tap on the elements section at the left side, you can search for and add different shapes, graphics, stickers. You can generate custom AI images, charts, and many, many more things. And I recommend you take your time here because there's a lot of stuff. One more thing that we will be using is this upload section. This is the section where we can upload photos from our computer, and that can be a photo of your friends, of your club, of your school, or other things. So upload your custom photos in this upload section, and you can add them in your poster later on. I first like to select a color for my design, so click on it, then find this color option, which will open a side menu that contains all of these colors. The poster which I have in mind has a white and black background, so I'll select a black color first. And then we're gonna add a custom shape which will be white. The shapes will be located in the elements section at the left side. Use this search bar to type shapes, and you can search for a rectangular shape, an oval shape, whatever you need. Just type it and you'll find it in here. Make sure that the shapes section is selected, scroll a bit down, and find an element which you think is gonna look great in your design. I'll put this at the top of my poster, and I like the black and white base that my poster has. It is time to add the text to my poster, and since this is a job hiring poster, I'll type, we're hiring, and then put it somewhere at the top center of the poster. Let's then change this font to something else and Canva offers a wide variety of fonts, and most of these fonts are free to use. I suggest that you select the display section, which will give us bold fonts that are great for the main text. This looks pretty good, and let's now add a sticker from the elements section. I'll type something like job offer in here, tap on this graphics section, and you can now see a bunch of stickers and graphic images, which you can add to the poster. I like this little briefcase sticker, so let's add it to my design. The next thing which I'll do is to add another part of the text, where I'll add the positions which we're looking for. I'll type something like, we're looking for. Then I'll duplicate the text layer, and then change this to graphic designer, video editor, and a script writer. 
The text section looks pretty good, but I'll add a check mark sticker next to every position which I'm looking for. The right side of this poster looks empty, and let's add another element. Let's type people working in office. Tap on the graphics. I got a lot of great results, and I like this sticker of a woman in front of a laptop, so I think that it's going to look good in my design. So one of the last things that I will do here is to add a couple of social media icons from my upload section, and I've downloaded these icons from google.com, since Canva doesn't have these icons in the elements section. This looks pretty good, but I need one more sticker to complete my design and share this poster to my social media accounts. I'm going to add another sticker from the elements section, and that's this red apply now sticker. As you can see, this is how my poster turned out. I think that it looks pretty good, yet it was pretty simple to make it. You can repeat this process while designing other posters, but there is a much better way, and that is by using Canva's custom design templates. The second part of this video will show you how you can create high quality posters using Canva's pre-made templates. These templates are very good. They're eye-catching. Most of the templates are free and they have a template for every kind of poster that you need. We will be using this search bar and simply type poster in here. Also, you'll want to click on this Canva templates filter. You can see that Canva shows us a bunch of results related to our search. So we can design movie posters, recruitment posters, makeup artist posters, and many more things. So let's say you need to design a poster that's about job hiring. Just type job hiring poster in the search bar and then hit enter on your keyboard. This is going to give us a lot of these high quality and eye catching posters, as you can see. You will be able to see and customize most of these posters for free. And we also have some premium posters, which are only available for Canva Pro users. You'll know that a poster template is premium by this little crown icon, which is located at the bottom right corner of the template. So if you're subscribed to Canva Pro, then you can use these posters with the little crown. But if you don't have Canva Pro, then find a different poster which you like and make sure that it doesn't have a little crown icon. So take your time on this page, scroll down and find a template which you would like to use. Let's say I like this specific poster. If I click on it, I'll get a little more information about it, but let's tap on this customize this template option, and that will open the poster in a new design. And our job now is to customize this poster, add elements, pictures, remove things which we don't like and similar. This is a pretty cool job hiring poster, but I don't like this city photo at the top, and I'm going to change this. So I'll tap on this photo to select it, then click on the little trash can icon right here. I've now removed the photo and I'll add another one. So we will be using the elements section at the left side. I'm going to use a simple office photo. So let's type office in here, then select this photos filter in order to get cool office photos. You can get a lot of free photos this way, but if you see a crown, it means that it's for Canva Pro. So keep that in mind. I'll select this photo and add it to my frame at the top of my poster. As you can see, this office photo looks much better than the previous one. So let's continue to the next step. The name of the company which is doing the hiring is named AppTutor. So I'll change this text right here. One more thing that I'll add is my company logo. So I have my logo in the upload section, so I'll add it. And then I need a little circle frame because I don't want my logo in this rectangle shape. Let's use the elements section, type circle, and then select the frame section at the top. I'm going to select this regular circle frame and then put the company logo in that frame. It looks much better now, so I'll put the logo next to the company name. This we're hiring text is good. It has a good font and color, so I will not be changing this. I'll leave it like this because it looks pretty good on this poster. You have this element which divides the poster, and if you don't like the color scheme of a certain element in your poster template, you can easily change it by selecting the element, and then use the color option at the top to change the color. I'm now going to continue to the next step, 
and I can change the positions for which the company is hiring. I have four positions that are already here, and what I can do is to change the text and add the position which I'm needing for my company. Let's say I need a YouTube thumbnail designer. I'm also searching for a video editor, a script writer, and a voiceover artist. If you need more positions, just copy one part of the text and then paste it below, and you can add five, six, or more positions. Also, if you don't need as much, just delete the parts which are the surplus. So I've added the job positions which my company is hiring for, and I can now continue to the next step in customizing my poster. We have this more information section at the bottom, and I'll simply add my email address on which people can contact me. And this is my YouTube channel business mail as well. So you can send sponsorship offers on this specific email address. It will be added in the description of this video. The right side of this template allows me to add my phone number on which people can call me for more information and other things. So I'll select the text layer and then I'll add my phone number. So the last thing which I need to customize is this little timeline graph. And this is about the interview date, the announcement, and similar. So I'm going to speed this part up because it's boring. And now you can see how my job hiring poster looks like. And it only took us five minutes to create it using Canva. I'm then going to download this poster to my computer by tapping on this share icon at the top right corner of the screen. After that, I'll click on the download option. You can see that the poster is eye catching, it's high quality, and it's great for social media or other places where you'll need and use the poster. But that's about it for this video, everyone. If you found this video helpful and it helped you in creating your poster, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe to the AppTutor YouTube channel because it would really help me out. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I will see you soon.